core group with a breath exercise. This exercise has been practiced for thousands of years and it doesn't necessarily mean that it is something you should do all the time, but we want to expose ourselves to a variety of ways of playing with breath. I thought this one was particularly apropos for this morning. It's called alternate nostril breathing and one of the effects is to help bring two sides of the brain together, the right and the left brain, the male and the female, together in harmony. And since today we're going to be working with family relationships and bringing the two sides of ourself together such that we're not projecting that and creating struggle in our relationships, it's a nice place to start using our breath to bring both sides of our brain together, so to speak. Generally, when I start learning something in the beginning, the mechanics are difficult. This is not a particularly complicated exercise. It's quite simple, but nonetheless, <laughs> you can still get confused a little bit in the beginning, and that's annoying. And blah, blah, blah. But I was playing with it this morning, and even through that, even though I was a little distracted with just the mechanics of it, I found that when I was through, I was amazingly calm and balanced. So you may or may not find that also. The method involves holding one side of the nostril while you exhale and inhale through the other, and then switching and holding the other nostril closed while you exhale and inhale through that. And the method of doing this is by using the thumb and the middle finger of your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, it's your right hand. If you're left-handed, it's your left hand. And then later on, we'll switch to the non-dominant hand again, using both sides of the brain, and then back to the dominant hand. And an easy way to do this is to rest your index finger right between your eyebrows, and then put your thumb on one side of your nose and the middle finger on the other side of the nose. So you're making a little tripod right on your face. Probably better to close your eyes when you're doing this. <laughs> what works for me to help remember and make the mechanics easy is, first of all, just practice in closing one nostril by pressing with your middle finger, and that will close your one nostril, and then pressing with your thumb on the other nostril, and that closes that, which means that the Inhale and exhale goes through the opposite side that you're closing, obviously. All right? So, the way we start is by closing one side and by inhaling. After you inhale, you always close or switch and exhale. So, it's inhaling, switching, exhaling. And you inhale on the same side, close, Exhale. So it's inhale on that side, switch, exhale. Inhale on that side, switch, exhale. Now this is an easy, gentle breath. And your stomach muscles are relaxed. As I said, as you get past the initial mechanics of it, the focus is simply on the air coming in, then you switch, and you exhale, Going out, in through the same side, you switch, and you exhale the other side. And you're just focusing on the air coming in, you're switching, and you're exhaling out. And then in on that side, switching, exhaling out. The focus is the passage of the air in the nostrils. There's nothing else in the universe right now other than the simple focus of the air coming in and out of your nostrils. Easy and gentle, not a stress. You switch after every inhale. It may help for some people to help keep the breath long and easy, to even count. 
like a four count or a three count or a five count. And gradually you'll be able to slow your breath down and focus on nothing other than the air coming in and going out. Knowing that this dance of breath is uniting the male and the female within you, bringing together your divine lovers. And then switch hands, bring your non-dominant hand up and form that little tripod with your index finger between your eyebrows, your thumb on one side on one nostril, and your middle finger on the other. Again, you're exhaling, and after you inhale, you switch to the other side, and exhale. Inhale, switch to the other side, and exhale. Again, the only focus is on the passage of air coming in and out of my nostrils. My stomach and my whole body is relaxing. So I inhale, switch to the other side, and exhale. And now finally, we go back for a short little period with the dominant hand again. Come back, putting your dominant hand, index finger between your eyebrows, thumb on one side, middle finger on the other. Inhaling, and I switch to the other side, and I exhale. I inhale, I switch to the other side, I exhale. I give thanks to my breath as the spirit of life, which animates, energizes my body, connects it with my mind and my spirit. It is the principle of life which is with me every moment, regardless of how anxious, how sad, how angry, or how elated I may be. My breath is constant and steady, forgiving, healing, and uniting. I ask my breath to stay with me and I dedicate it to my highest intention of being a living example of the union of the male and the female, the yin and the yang, the balance in the divine dance. Then just Bring your hands down to your side. Keep your eyes closed for a minute and just feel your body. I suggest that throughout our work together here in the group today, as well as throughout the next week, the seeds that you've planted of harmony and union with your breath continue to grow, and that you find yourself coming to balance in many situations that you might not ordinarily. This balance comes much easier and faster. And let yourself take a deep and clearing breath and come on back. <laughs>